Well, what's up, America? And so, Jim Bob, on the commentary channel, and uh, I just got back from the steamy valley, California, uh, where they had the uh, Republican debates out there last night at the Reagan Library, and uh, I was uh, honored not to be one of the 500 uh, guests that was uh, right up front there to see what was going on. And uh, so when the thing started up, uh, you know, all the candidates come out there walking out, and uh, first they had a the little little uh, debate, which is uh, the ones that are the lowest in the polls. There's a Lindsey Graham, uh, the warmonger president, uh, he was on there, and uh, he was telling uh, uh, how he's going to defeat the ISIS and all that kind of stuff, and um, also said he was going to promote more drinking in the White House if he got president. So uh, that was one thing old Lindsey Graham was on there. And uh, there's some other fellow down there, I can't remember who they were. They're so low in the poll, I can't remember their names. But anyway, at the wall, then they had the, the big boys come out, and girls, uh, to get the higher, higher ratings. And uh, they come on out of there, walking out two by twos mostly. Um, I saw that uh, Trump and uh, uh, what's his guy name from New Jersey, they was walking together. And uh, Christy, I'm oh, sorry about that, buddy. Uh, Christy and Trump is walking together, and uh, there's some others walking together. And then there's that uh, Carly uh, Fornero lady. She, she's the only woman in there. She's walking all by herself. But boy, she's walking proud now. I'll tell you what, she had shoulders back, walking there like uh, she's in charge of it. And so uh, they had all them, all them people in that debate. And uh, so. Uh, well, I just want to uh, tell you, the backdrop for the debate was a, a big old airplane, and uh, it's uh, it, it was uh, Ronald Reagan's airplane when he was the president. Of and I said, "Well, damn go. Uh, ain't no wonder we got a deficit in the budget if they're spending all that money to put a, a airplane over here in, in a library." And I thought a library is just for books. But anyhow, they had an airplane in there. And uh, they referred to it several times during the debate. And uh, they had uh, Seaman in, was the, in charge of the debate and asking the questions. And uh, it led me to wonder, I, I wish they'd get some, Seaman in would hire John Stewart. He's retired from the Daily Show and uh, get Stephen Colbert over there. Uh, he's got his own show now too. And had, let them ask some of them questions. They ask better questions uh, in my personal opinion, but that's just my personal opinion. Now, I'm not picking my nose, I just get you right here. Um, so, uh, uh, anyway, the debate started on up and they asked them a lot of questions. They would uh, ask uh, that guy, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Ben, Dr. Ben, uh, uh, Casey, whatever his name was, I asked him about his tax plan, which I kind of think is a good plan. Uh, it's based on the Bible. Now he said uh, he, he was going to get them to charge 10% taxes on everybody. It doesn't matter whether you made a dollar or whether you made $10 billion like old Trump. If you paid the same amount of money. Now that seems pretty fair to me, and it's biblical. So, I mean, that's all right. If you just get the part on there, which is also in the Bible, that uh, he's supposed to forgive a man's debt after seven years, uh, that part would be good too. I don't think the IRS is going to do that. Though. But anyway, uh, that was Ben Carson. That was his idea on, on that. And uh, Trump was trying to beat up on a whole bunch of people. And uh, he tried to pick a little bit on that uh, Carly Foreign Era girl. Boy, she kicked his ass all over the place. It's funny to me. Well, she's a strong woman now. If she got to be the president, she'd be the first woman president. Now, everybody thinks that Hillary Clinton's going to get it. But maybe not. If, if she got to be the first woman president, not Hillary. And uh, she said she wasn't going to talk to Putin. She's going to show him her strength. And uh, she did that, and she uh, beat up a little bit on the Iranians and the 
ISIS and all them people. Uh, wouldn't it be funny that uh, a woman president kicking the butts of the bad peoples? Uh, that would be kind of funny. And I, I'd like that. But, uh, and she's pretty smart about a lot of stuff. She said uh, I liked her. But uh, she, she wasn't the only one I liked. I liked uh, some of the others too. I like Ben Carson. And uh, I like what he said. And, uh, and some other fellers on there. Uh, Christy, he's trying to steal the show. Boy, that bad guy, boy, he's polished now. Let me tell you what, that guy's a polished politician. He, know, he knows how to play the, play, play the field. He was so good. I'm telling you what, I almost fell for it. And uh, he, he, he was uh, put down on the end. And you'd think that'd be a bad thing, but you know what? It turned out pretty good because uh, he got the last word. When the debate was over, he was the last one you heard talking. So you see, being on the end of the line ain't always the worst thing to do. Could be some of them people in the little debate before. They might end up being the president and not these ones up in the top tens. What do you think about that? I mean, that's happened before. And uh, so it could happen again. And uh, anyways, uh, they debated about taxes and, uh, and the Iranian deal. None of them liked the Iranian deal. And uh, they, uh, that Paul, Ron, Ron Paul boy, he, he, uh, he's gonna forgive people um, that just smoked a little bit of dope and not too much and went to jail for it. And uh, I'm not picking. Um, and, and I think that's a good idea. He got, he got too many people in jail. And that's what Carly said. She said, you know, a lot of people don't know this. We, America, has got more people in prison than any other country in the world. Even Russia. We got more in, in, in prison than Russia does. And, uh, and a lot of it has to do with the uh, three strikes laws and stuff like that. We ain't gonna get into that. That's all I want to come to. But, uh, you know, Americans ought to be more forgiving. Like, if you really look down deep in your own heart, I think you find out that you ain't been perfect. And you, you've done a lot of things. You, you might not have get caught for them. See, there's a difference. See, uh, I've done some things back on the day, and uh, they didn't catch me. You know what I mean? And so uh, I didn't get to go to jail on that. And uh, that's a good thing for me. But you see, it ain't quite fair that some of the fellers are wasn't as lucky. I won't say smart, because they wasn't smart. But they wasn't as lucky as I was, and they ended up going to prison. They got, you go to prison, and you get a felony, and the, and the felony follows you for the rest of your life. And that ain't right. See, that, that ain't right. That's what I mean about being more forgiving. Uh, if a fella keeps doing it and doing it and doing it, that's right. Uh, let's keep him on up in the jail a little bit longer. That's okay. But uh, when a fella goes into the jail and he gets on and back out and he, he can't get a job, well, what the hell is he going to do? He might as well go on back and sell a dope or whatever it was he was doing before. Of course, they can't get no job out here regular anyways. A fella that ain't got no prison record and a college degree and all that there stuff, they can't get a job either. So, I mean, there's where the problem is. And, of course, all them Republicans, they said they was going to fix it all. They go, man, if you just give them a chance, if you put them in there and make them be the leader, they'd be the ones that fix it at all. Well, uh, I don't, I got my doubts, but... Uh, I sure hope some of them did. Well, after the thing was all over with and all and done, and everybody was as happy and friendly as they could be, uh, we all went out and uh, did a little party. Like I said, Lindsey Graham, he's a, he likes to drink a little bit. That's what he said. And uh, I'm not here to contest uh, uh, it could be true. And I had a little bit too much to drink and uh, kind of feeling a little bit uh, hanged over today. Uh, on account of it, but uh, it was a fun time, I tell you. Them Republicans, they know how to party. And uh, so that, there's your debate. Now, if you, and you go on the Seaman in News, and and uh, they'll tell you what, what really happened. Because, see, that's what the news uh, people do. It don't matter whether it's Seaman in or whether it's a Fox Blonde Girly channel uh, or NBC or any of ABC, CBS, PBS, all of them. What the news people do is they run run some news 
and stuff, and then they come back on and they will talk you to death. See, semen is the worst one. They talk you to death that for hours and hours and hours of saying the same thing over and over and over again, explaining to you and telling you what you just saw. And like you ain't smart enough to figure it on out on your own. So that's what the news people do. They explain it all to you. Well, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to throw it out there and let you decide uh, who's going to get elected. Now, I left Donald Trump out, and I, 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 I did because uh, of that very reason. Everything I've seen Donald Trump do is a bunch of blowing smoke. He reminds me of a, a, a car dealer up here in uh, South Carolina. The promise is in the world, um, just come on in, I'll give you this, I'll give you that, we're going to fix this, don't matter if we got good credit or bad credit, uh, whatever you need, we can do it over here. And well, that's kind of what Donald Trump sounds like to me. I say, yeah, he's going to be the biggest and the baddest and the worstest and everything. Anybody that messes with him will be sorry and this, that, and the other. And he's going to build a wall. He ain't the only one's going to build a wall, but you know, I figured out how come, how Donald Trump's going to build that wall. Now, Donald Trump's good at some stuff, and the one thing he's good at is building stuff. And uh, so he, he's going to build a wall, and the way he's going to do it and keep it under budget is he's going to use uh, Mexicans for the labor, because he can get them for cheaper. Now, I'm not no fan no Latinos. Uh, I love you all. I love everybody. I don't care. But anyway, that's what I'm thinking he's going to do. Like he said he's going to make uh, Mexico pay for it. So he must be going to use Mexican labor. That's the only thing I could think of. So uh, there's the debates. That's what I saw last night on the news. And So I'm still deciding which way I'm going to go, whether I'm going to go Republican or, or Democrat or Independent or or whatever we've got still got some more debating to go and i'll keep you up to date on it so thanks for watching and don't forget to like me on the facebook because there ain't nobody liking me up on the facebook enough i gotta get some more viewers and i appreciate the ones i got so thank you and uh i'll keep uh working hard at this thing until we get her done so jim's out